Look at me. I don't even have a boyfriend. Hello, my darlings. Welcome back to my channel. Now, for today's video, I'm going to review a Ghanaian movie on Netflix called Fix Us. I might just be able to fix it. Fix Us follows the lives of three actresses, Nadede, Chioma, and Jaya. We see their struggle of trying to make it big in the Ghana movie industry to finally making it big. And then we find out that there are certain impediments that are in their way to them being clean as a whistle, super stars, A++ celebrities. And throughout the course of their activities, they encounter this fixer who comes in and cleans up their mess and ensures that they don't get bad press. So by the time the movie comes to an end, the fixer fixes all their problems and they all live happily ever after. Hallelujah. Let's just dive straight into my observations and my takeaways and my general thoughts about the movie. First things first. The movie is slowly paced. The movie has such a slow pace. It was so uncomfortable watching the movie because when they say one line, it's like they wait an eternity to say the next line, especially when they were interacting with each other. Like someone would introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Kojo. Hi, my name is Nadeidi. And I was like, why, why do you put so much wait time in between the sentences? And it made it so obvious that there was something amiss. The whole point of a movie being fast paced is that when you're watching it, you're immersed in the world. So you're like, wow, this is so interesting. And you're watching, you're watching, you're excited. And by the time the movie's over, it's now when you're reflecting and you realize, oh wait, this part was weird. That part was weird because the movie doesn't let you breathe whilst you're watching it. But in Fix Us, because the pacing was so slow, it gave me time to evaluate what was happening in the scene and what was wrong with the scene. Another thing the movie suffers from is telling us instead of showing us. Now, one of the greatest things about theater and movie is show, not telling. Because it's supposed to show us and you're supposed to believe it. Because if you tell us, it will be very hard pressed for us to believe it if we don't see it. And that's exactly what they do. Because when the fixer comes, Wendy Hayford, the fixer, a la Olivia Pope, when she enters the scene and she's trying to prove her point that she she's on top of things, she tells us what these stars are up to and we don't see it for ourselves. So it becomes very, mm, I don't believe that. Because for nowadays, this character, she says that she's addicted to heroin, she's addicted to cocaine and marijuana. And we don't see that. You know, because if you're telling us that this is a struggling artist, you're telling us this is someone who struggles with addiction, you're supposed to at least have a sense of it, but we never do. So when she tells us, we just go like, eh, I mean, she said it, so I guess it's true. And we never see it. And that's what it does all through us because certain things that they're supposed to show us, they tell us. Their journey from being unknown people to being star actresses was like very small. And I get that they had to like fast pace it for us to see it. But all we saw is that they went to a couple of auditions, they prayed one time, and then boom, they are superstars driving the big cars. When they go out for Parazi, just you know, takes pictures of them, and we see them on one movie set, they do one interview, and then that's it. For me, I thought that a real good conflict would be a conflict that comes from within the three of them. We never see a sort of real friction between them because if all these people are actresses and they're all competing for the big roles, there's no way you can tell me that the three actresses get roles in the same movie over and over again. It's not done, it's not believable. Now let's get into their individual conflicts that had to be resolved. The first coming up is Nadeide Day Day and a boy that was obsessed with her. And this is my thing about the actions that happened with her and the boy. If this obviously younger boy comes around you and then he tells you stuff like i'm obsessed with you and he has an obvious tattoo of your name on his back why in god's name do you think that you could entertain a relationship with him because you were lonely that seems so weird because if someone comes to you as an actress as a superstar a plus plus celebrity and the person saying that they are obsessed with you that is a warning sign if i ever saw any but she was all like, oh, because he spoke certain sweet words to her, she was all taken away. But the one thing I did like that came out of the mess was that when the boy went into his episode and he leaked the pictures of them in bed together, the fixer, Wendy Hayford, decided that, okay, there's a scene from a movie, so let's write a script and shoot a movie within four days. When she did that, I was like, yes, you are fixing things in this industry. And then let's go to Chioma. Now, Chioma you are having an affair with a married man and you are a celebrity and she was so reckless i couldn't believe someone who had so much to lose being so reckless because of some man who was not for you and 
this is my thing as a mistress she had so many requests come and see me do this and i'm like honey honey know your place in this world okay you are an actress but in his house you are low on the totem pole the third person was jaya who was dating some guy who used to be a rapist and also was into illegal business but was also an actor they should have made the conflicts be among the actresses because at the end of the day all the conflicts they had were because of men addiction great scandal and an affair an affair was great but to make all three actresses deal with men as their problems no it's just no at the end of the day after watching the movie i was confused and out of my confusion the only thing that came up was that maybe this is a parody of how Ghanaian actresses behave it's so believable because then everything makes sense if they come out to say that oh fix us was a parody of the celebrity culture in Ghana I'd be yes 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 that's true but they did none of that so I don't know whether it was a serious drama it was comedy it was a dramedy I don't know I don't know where they were dabbling with anywho I've come to the end of the video have you seen fix us and if you've seen fix us what did you think about the movie let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it whether you liked it whether you didn't like it whether it was over the top for you whether it was just eh for you whatever your thoughts were leave it down in the comments below let's connect my name is ifa labi don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to all those who newly subscribed to my channel thank you all so much i love you all Thank you for supporting and I'll see you on my next video.